Well, many thanks for joining us on yet another episode of News in Focus. I'm Linda Alela Mathambu. Now, being born in a political or rather famous political family calls for a lot. Imagine you always on spotlight, you always have to be neat, you always have to play this good child, you always have to, to cater for your family to do all these extraordinary things. And of course, today, We've taken the step to invite Mike Sunko's daughter. She is Saumu Mbovishi. You are the first one, right? Yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, many thanks. For, for, by the way, I should have started by saying karibu <laughs> to, uh, to our studios. Many thanks for finding time to be here with us. Thank you. And indeed, of course, like I said earlier on, it calls for a lot. Being a political uh, daughter, being a political child, and most so a child of the rich. Am I allowed to call you that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anything you feel yes, like saying. Yes, anything you want. We all know Max Onko. And the big question is, how do the daughters uh, cope up? How are the, uh, his children uh, coping up, of course, with life, you know, with all this limelight, with all this flashy lifestyle and everything? And that's the reason why we've termed it necessary to have Saumo Bovi on set, so that at least she can have to share a part of her life with us and, of course, take us to that, you know, dream life that we've all uh, wanted. So many thanks again once more. And, of course, we we're looking forward to hear from you and uh, just, just get to know you. And, I mean, it's not a normal thing to meet such a person is not you not always all over for us to to meet you know shake hands and everything so it's great to have you here mm, thank you so much mm -hmm. yeah. so we'll start straight to the point yeah first of all your dad politics and all that i'll question you this is politics you cup i mean of tea or what actually yes i'll say that uh -huh. uh, i'm currently the vice president of yes. jacob karen mm -hmm. I have oh. interest in politics, mm -hmm. but I uh, would want first to follow my dreams, what it really interests me. Mm -hmm. According to my educational background, I'll have first to like accomplish what I really want in life. Mm -hmm. So I don't think like it's right for me to go after what I have to go after or something some, someone is following, mm -hmm. someone is forcing me to do it. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's a personal decision. Mm -hmm. Once I the, t the minute I decided to vie for vice president mm -hmm. in Jacob Curran, yes. it was for my personal mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. business. And, and I'd love to know if you got <laughs> the, the chance to be the vice president because of your dad's thing? Or no, 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 It was pure? It was pure. Uh -huh. It was clean and everything because I'm a, I'm a people's person. Mm -hmm. Even now, like everybody is forcing me like to vie for MCA in Karen. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah, right. even like, cause <laughs> sometimes I leave my car and go with a border border or oh, I take on my tattoo. Yeah. And like there's uh, one famous guy in Karen called Ras. Mm -hmm. So they'll tell me, so like the youths are looking for you. Why mm -hmm. don't you do it? Mm -hmm. So it's something that they're forcing me. Plus it's like, you know, family is kind of chosen. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, from our family. Mm -hmm. All right. Before we even go to the political bit and everything, what is this dream that you say you would love to chase first? My dream, I've always loved to be. First, I, I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I wanted to empower a lot of ladies and women together because mm -hmm. I've always seen myself as a leader mm -hmm. ever since I was young. Yes. So I wanted to do a lot and plus charity is part of me. Mm -hmm. That is something that I'm passionate of. Mm -hmm. So I like helping a lot is not something that I'm forced to do yes. is something that I've done it for years mm -hmm. now it's more than even six years that mm -hmm. I've been doing it and doing it and it you seems like it's a bit I'm sorry to, to ask this but sometimes charity is a bit easy when you have but sometimes you can really be having this heart to give that's it but anyway point. The, 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 that's, that's a point, point. Yeah. it's not like my dad gives me a million to do it but it's something that you call it like a pocket money mm -hmm. what are you doing with your pocket money you're in high school or you're in after my high mm -hmm. school I like even in my high school, mm -hmm. that is pocket money you're given for a town. Yeah. My town pocket money, I used to use it for, we, we used to have an organization called TSO, mm -hmm. Smiles mm -hmm. Organization. Yes. So we like, I told them, we opened a chama, yeah, in school. Uh -huh. That was back in um, from See two. why I'm smiling? <laughs> because I'm thinking, how much is this pocket money in the past Pocket place? money was like, <laughs> okay, it was like uh, my parents were. Uh -huh. You know, one thing I like about my parents, mm -hmm. They teach me to be tough. Yeah. They don't just give you everything right. there. It's always there. Just mm -hmm. look for it. You have it, mm -hmm. but just look for it. Yeah. They just don't show you that life is this easy. My mm -hmm. dad tells me, I, I wasn't born in civil party like you people, mm -hmm. but you have to mm -hmm. make it I'm on your own here. at mm -hmm. first. If you're stranded somewhere, then call me. That's right. one thing I like about <laughs> him, because he makes us tough. We uh -huh. are kind, we're kind, but he makes us tough. Mm -hmm. And all that, it's all for him because yes. he's stretched out mm -hmm. to a bit that I, I don't even know I, I should really thank him for 
who is really made us yes, to be. Speaking of him, yeah. of course, where you are today, uh -huh. he's considered man of the people, has helped a lot of people. I mean, we all know him, I mean, apparently. So the question is this, where do you think he would have been if he wasn't around or we, it wasn't for him? You know, funny thing, yes. I've always dreamed. I've always dreamt of being a president. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. At but this age in Kenya, I've never no, seen I'm Kenya. No, Kenya. <laughs> yeah. Kenya has uh -huh. never had the first female president. Yes, under this so age. So sometimes, over uh, not sometimes, mm -hmm. all the time, I see myself in a lane that it's just my own lane. I mm -hmm. think it's dreams, but mm -hmm. I wish people would believe in me uh -huh. somewhere, someday, uh -huh. or. Because I see myself being one of the f no, first female president in Kenya. Oh. Because I think we have one African president, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yes. Uh -huh. So I would I'd like to follow the same footstep, but in Kenya, mm -hmm. I want to see a woman doing it better. Because once you're a woman, but you're out there in the limelight, men will attack you. Even your past will unleash and whatever, but yeah. they'll come after you. Mm -hmm. Once, you know, when they say if you educate a lady, you educate the whole generation, mm -hmm. a man is just educating a yes. man. It's not like we're, we are being biased, but when you educate a lady or a woman in mm -hmm. a society, mm -hmm. that's like educating a whole like village. They know what they, they mean. Because yeah. women, we, we, have, we were born with caring hearts. Mm -hmm. We know what we really want. We know what the needs of our people. Mm -hmm. That's what I really mean well, by that. Well, you're speaking something. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> no. You mentioned something to do with the past. And I'm thinking, well, do you think at some point in time when you're there, your past would haunt you? Sometimes, yes, I think. Because, you know, there's some things I say. What is this thing that you ever did that you think maybe would, would be every young a person, past? Yeah. Every young person wants to explore. Mm -hmm. You'll go out. Maybe people will take pictures. Uh -huh. Like, even for me right now, I'm even scared of going to clubs because I can't even club anymore. Mm -hmm. I'll go to somewhere else. I call it even a local. Like, I will hide somewhere in Indian because someone will want to take a picture. Yeah, you're Mike Sonko's daughter. Mm -hmm. You can't even have fun. Like, you're even choked up to the neck, but you want to club. You know, I'm at the age of, I really want to club, so get to your oh age and it's settled. Uh -huh. Exactly. So you I can't even kid? do it. <laughs> you got a booty No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I'm careful about it. You just walk around yourself? Like yeah, yeah, but I am kind of hate it. Yeah, I don't like showing it. Right. It has to be so <laughs> right behind. I was actually supposed to ask you that. I mean, honestly, how do you just handle this? Imagine you have this somewhere, you know, there's this bodyguard and everything. Sometimes you really want to get naughty like you put it. But... It's kind of an adva a disadvantage, I would say, also. Uh, no. Uh -huh. I'd say, okay, sometimes it's responsibility, yes. self-control. Mm -hmm. So once you have it, you, you know what to put on your, you know what to do, you know when you cross your limits. Mm -hmm. So when I go out and I drink, and I wouldn't go drink in Westlands. Because I know I'll, I'll go and drink beyond my limbs. I yes. can't lie that I don't drink. Uh -huh. I am even fighting <laughs> that because I drink, yes. Yeah. So if I am doing that, maybe I may do something, then someone spikes my drink. Mm -hmm. If I'm not around a place where I'm mm -hmm. usually at, people who know me mm -hmm. will take me home. But mm -hmm. I'm in Westlands. Who knows me? They'll yes. start taking pictures mm -hmm. and it'll go around. Mm -hmm. So it's all about self-control. But if I want to be all wild mm -hmm. and drink, I'll go somewhere I am comfortable that I call home. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of questioning this because we've <coughs> known you guys. I've actually Sonko, uh, Saumo Sonko, Salma, you know, Mbovi. Okay, I'm calling you all that. And then there's Sandra. You guys have not always shied away from the limelight as opposed to these other, you know, political uh, daughters and all that, uh, political children. Like, if somebody would ask you this, why is it that you're not always you know, shy of the camera, shy of the limelight and all that. I'll call you, uh, I'll, I'll call ourselves something, just mm -hmm. one name. Yeah. We'll call ourselves, like, no, for me, I say we are ghetto fabulous. All right. We have lived both lives, mm -hmm. with and without. Yeah. So we know without, mm -hmm. there's a life that God really exposed us to. He was trying to prepare us for some, mm -hmm. like, this life that we have it all. How are you going to handle it? We don't want to act like we have it all, so... We should push people away. We should mm -hmm. not talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. I, I even tell people in school, I'm not, I'm not a, like a, an airline from, so I don't know, I'm not a mom or mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. I'm just a normal person like you, just because, I don't know, it's my dad, how he lived his life, he really struggled. Mm -hmm. Even at a point, there's a time he really struggled to get, you know, he got me at a very young age, mm -hmm. to really struggle to get my school fees, what, not, and he was young. So... He didn't have it at that moment. Mm -hmm. Nobody had it in the family. Yeah. So, and then we had it all of a sudden, God helped us and everything. So we don't have to act like we are from some different 
continent, you know, I mean, life is all about a struggle, but you don't have to change your personality and everything. Speaking of school, and of course, sometimes you really want to act the good person, not really act the good person, you actually this good person, yeah? How do you handle it in school, I know, in high school, your campus and everything, you know, how just, how do you handle it? For me, it's just, it's okay, just normal life. everyone else thinks it's okay? Yeah. Everyone around you? Unless when it comes to responsibility duties, mm -hmm. when I have to be the vice president, mm -hmm. I have to tell them if I see you doing illegal things in school, mm -hmm. then I'll tell you to stop. Mm -hmm. That is when I have to be now mm -hmm. the vice president. You've but had moments of I'm at this level and you have to boost me up, like someone yeah, comes up yeah. and tells you, like the whole world, you know, I mean. Unless when maybe sometimes I, maybe, uh, driving mm -hmm. a different car mm -hmm. people used to mostly talk about me they judge me from who i'm not mm -hmm. but in the end they'll see me th they even stop judging me because i am always freestyle sometimes i leave my car and start walking and i do just normal things mm -hmm. and you live and feel guilty of yourself because i'm just a normal person mm -hmm. i don't see it well in the verge of doing normal things don't you get scared at some point because you know we have political rivals for of your dad and everything there people, there's always this fear you know as a political yeah. child as a rich child there's always this fear in as much as maybe people don't mean harm you need to be a bit cautious so as you do your freestyle thing don't you sometimes get scared i do get scared mm -hmm. But the good thing about being scared, you have to be cautious about your life. So you take precautions. Mm -hmm. Precautions is that I, I, I'll always have a backup of people who will take care of me. If I'm somewhere like in the ghetto, I'm mm -hmm. doing my things and whatnot, of course I have a backup security. Mm -hmm. And I just tell them, yeah, be careful. They, they know the crowd I'll hang out with. They know people. Because I'll hang out with everyone, mm -hmm. but they will know. Like, I, I sometimes I'll I think get you scared. Should, you should be missing my life. I imagine I can <laughs> just walk around. I mean, I don't need to keep someone, you know, to... Are you serious? I can go to town and walk around so like someone can cram my face. <laughs> but it, get, it scares me, it's you know. Scared. It has to I, I, wear, <laughs> I have to hide I my face, there. though. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I mean, that is so unfair for you people. Like <laughs> seriously, seriously? I mean, Okay, let's it. just say this, eh? Uh -huh. Minus Sonko, where do you think your life would be as it now? I'll be a very work hiding like i'll be looking for my life after because i've always dreamt of being the youngest billionaire mm -hmm. in kenya mm -hmm. by the age of 23. Ooh. so minus Sonko, i think your right age oh ah, no all right no <laughs> ladies don't say age. i'm the only lady who says <laughs> yeah age anyway, maybe yeah? <laughs> <laughs> i don't say it uh -huh. so i guess without my dad i'll be somewhere really working myself out mm -hmm. just to get where I really want to be because I've always seen myself very very like I've always seen myself leading a whole group of ladies mm -hmm. I really want to see women making it because if a woman makes it even in a family mm -hmm. everybody makes it in the whole place mm -hmm. in the whole family everyone will make it yeah so I I just want to see myself even right now I don't want to associate myself with my dad's name too mm -hmm. Because everybody will see me with that. But if even without him, I know I'll be everywhere. Like, I'm this type of person. I am a go-getter. Yes, People in school probably. know me that. Mm -hmm. Even my lectures will, my lecturers will tell you about how I will not even sit in class. And um, they'll talk about things I don't even understand. I'm like, no, you have to start the whole topic. Mm -hmm. Or in case, I will go back to the dean and we have to report everything because I don't understand anything. Mm -hmm. I'm this person I need to have first educational background of yeah. everything. I love reading a lot. I have to be contented with what I really want so that I do a lot of research and I know this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going for it and I'm still going for it, no matter what challenges and struggles I'll face, mm -hmm. and I'm going after it. Mm -hmm. That is me. So read hard, read hard. I, I don't think I would read hard with all this money. Why would I? I mean, on the, at the end of the day, we... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just being naughty. Yes, anyway, I sawa, know. Sawa, 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 sawa. Is this picture of you being <laughs> referred to as a socialite? What do you think about that? How do you take it? Is it true? I am actually... Um, You're a wannabe? No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I think when it came to a point, I, I was actually... Uh, someone just came to me and asked me what I, when, what I think about socialites mm -hmm. in Kenya. So, I... I didn't even know what to say at first because it was abrupt. Yes. And for me, I, I thought like ladies are, are losing it mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So they want to actually do what socialites are doing, posting pictures, doing what. Because nowadays we live on our screens. Mm -hmm. 
everything is on our screens. You want to look like a billionaire, yeah. post it on the screen. Mm -hmm. But like you have billions and fake dollars, you're a billionaire. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that is a fake lie. Mm -hmm. For me, I, I don't, I, I don't want to sound like I'm a... I'm, a real, I'm the realest person in the world, mm -hmm. but I like being the real, like a billionaire in the world. All right. Because uh -huh. if you have it, post it. Yeah. But for me, I, I mean, don't. I, I don't want to post like I have money every single time, yes, you know. Uh -huh. But I, I, that point, I only said it's not good for. We are losing our mm -hmm. young girls. Mm -hmm. They want to. The only thing they're looking for is sponsors. Yes, easy money. Sponsors, mm -hmm. and sponsors is easy money. Yeah. If you've not worked for your money, then you won't feel the pleasure of money. Imagine. Money is what you look for, trust You me. think so? I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're going to be kidding me. <laughs> Somebody swear. actually told me that, you know, some lady of mine was just picking and she was like, well, at times we really act like we're so good. You don't want a sponsor and everything. And a friend of yours right there is, is looking for a sponsor, is getting sponsors all over. They're living a lavish life. They're uh -huh. enjoying life. And you're so here. You're just struggling. You know, you're just struggling with life. Honestly, if you can get a sponsor, why not? Sorry to ask that. Okay. Now that we're living in the life of you want to get a sponsor, why don't you first sponsor yourself? Then that sponsor, maybe that, that is sponsor really is your future husband. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know who your sponsor and how old their sponsor is. Mm -hmm. But... If you're an independent lady, mm -hmm. then you'll, uh, you'll attract more mm -hmm. than even what you need. But for an independent lady and an mm -hmm. attractive lady, yes. if you don't even have prayers in you, if you don't even see where you're going to be, because I, I, I don't even know. We are a lost generation, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. For that socialite thing, maybe I was kind of overboard on what I was saying. Uh -huh. But yes, I know it's, it's just going... Ladies are going out of the way. Mm -hmm. They can just try and preserve. You know, there's mm -hmm. a life. Yes, that is part of hustling too. For some, yes. I don't have to get to that point, but it's not my life. All right. So in black and white, you know what I'm No, 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 no. Yes. I all right. Uh, <laughs> now, being a firstborn. <laughs> okay. First of all, before I even go to that. Yes. What happened to some reality show or something? Actually, we are on it. So you still on it? Yes. Yes. Anytime we start out something, we know what you're going after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For us, we're not going after fame, but we are going for something that we call, we, we have togetherness mm -hmm. in our family. So we always look for something that will just not bring fame and whatnot, but we want things that will touch hearts. Mm -hmm. So it's not more than a, t a drama thing. It's something to do with, charity mm -hmm. we're giving back to the society mm -hmm. if we have it we give it to the society mm -hmm. but if we don't have it we don't have it that's what we were looking after for the movies but people actually misunderstood it because of maybe the pictures and all that but of course I yeah mean we were too <laughs> you know we, we 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 had dreams and everything mm -hmm. but we always have we have to come up if, even if for you if you want to start something you have to come up with a plan mm -hmm. our plan was to touch hearts but touching hearts, you just don't touch hearts by, you know, doing some things. Yeah. You have to touch hearts by giving back. Mm -hmm. But we're not just touching hearts. We're also giving back because we're grateful. Mm -hmm. We know where God has taken us from mm -hmm. to where right now he's put mm -hmm. us to. And we're so grateful. Speaking of that, your, young, uh, your, your, young your, your young sisters, uh, have they gone through a tough also? Or maybe theirs was just fine and everything. Like for Sandra. Oh. Uh, well, you say that maybe you've seen it all. You've seen the tough times. You've seen... You're now on good times and everything. Do you think Sandra has gone through tough times? Sandra, I s if there's one uh, genius kid I've ever met, mm -hmm. is my sister. Mm -hmm. She's a mature, she's more mature than her age, by the way. Mm. She's only eight, but what she can do is more than what you'll see an eight-year-old kid doing. It's not like she has everything there, but she's always considerate. Mm -hmm. Sandra will not have, like, a thousand shillings with her, you know, my dad will give her maybe in one, one hundred bob, mm -hmm. and she'll say, this is a lot of money, I'm oh. rich. She'll say she's rich, but <laughs> when she goes somewhere and she sees someone begging, oh. she'll cry in the car and she wants to give out. Now she'll keep on giving out mm -hmm. when we're going. Oh. Traffic jump, she'll stop the car, mm -hmm. she has to give, and you know, if a kid cries, you have to give her all the attention. Mm -hmm. So we give her all the attention just to see what she's going to do, yeah. To do, yeah? When we stop the car, she just gives out the money. It's not like she's keeping it for herself. Mm -hmm. The only thing she'll do, she'll save her a hundred bob to, get, to buy candies. Mm -hmm. And if you see such a kid doing that, just know, like, even, it even scares me sometimes. Mm -hmm. She is a very, she's kind of a genius. Mm -hmm. 
So whatever she can even tell you, be like, uh, she'll start judging you. She'll tell me, do you think this is right? Oh. Do you think this is, you know, uh, whatever she asked is, by eight, I couldn't even drive a car. But how she can drive, you'll teach her this tomorrow. By tomorrow, she'll remind you. I don't think this is right. You came home by nine. Uh -huh. You're supposed to come by eight. <laughs> I am <laughs> like, Sandra, I am sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't go to clubs on this day. Mm -hmm. Go on this day. And I really like her so much. She's my best friend, mm -hmm. by the way. Ah, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, Salma is hearing that and you're saying that she's not <laughs> your best friend. Sandra is oh, your best friend. No. So, you, okay, so, 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 so you're saying Sandra and Salma have also gone through tough times, yeah. like in the fa uh, family times and all that. Like, for instance, we're, we're just talking about how to, um, when things went good for you guys. Like, were they there? Sandra was born, born when dad was now the MP. Mm -hmm. So, San, me and Salma, we have yes. gone through it. Mm -hmm. But Sandra is exposed to now this good life mm -hmm. but she is she is tough for it like mm -hmm. she's prepared for oh. it the kindness with some toughness in it mm -hmm. she has it all all right i'm coming back still on sandra but before wow. that we <laughs> need to take a short break of course uh, thank you so much i mean for always uh, watching news and focus i've always keeping it ebru africa we're taking a short break we have saw right here on set so you need not to go anywhere we'll be right back with more <laughs>